Hello everyone, my name is Phil Rowley and I'm proud to be a pro staff member with Outcast Boats. On today's Outcast Boats tip, we're going to talk to you about double anchoring a pontoon boat. Why you'd want to do it, and perhaps more importantly, just how are you going to do it. You know, we're sitting here right now on my local lake. I have light winds, beautiful day for fishing, but as you can see, I'm swaying back and forth in front of the camera. I'm not really even doing anything. I'm tethered with the factory anchor this pontoon boat comes with, but I'm swaying back and forth and back and forth. If the wind comes up or I start casting, this is only gonna get magnified. So that's why you need the front anchor installed so you can stop that annoying sway and stay in touch with your flies and catch more fish. What I've done is I've taken a Scotty rail mount that has a female adapter to it and then just simply plugged in a Scotty anchor lock. And to that, I've got a small anchor, five pounds is ample. All you're doing is stopping this way. This anchor is not locking you down. I got a small marked rope. I've got markings on the rope so to help me figure out the depth. I've got one mark every three feet. Simply count the marks. I know how deep I am. It's a simple system to put on. Now this boat has a slightly narrower di diameter rail than the 7 8 mount. What I did is I just built that diameter up a little bit using some hot water tank foam insulation just to build that out a bit and then when I clamped it in through the screws that go through sideways and the two set screws that come up through the bottom, this anchor is locked in place, the mount stays with the boat and at the end of the day I simply remove the anchor lock, stow it away and I'm ready for the next day. So you might be wondering why I chose the left-hand side rail of the pontoon boat to attach my anchor lock. Why not the right-hand side? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm a right-handed caster, so I'm obviously going to be casting with that right hand, but when I hook a fish, I'm going to be fighting it with that right hand. And if at some point during the fight, typically near the end, and that fish is sort of getting near the boat ready to be landed, there's obviously a risk this fish could wrap around the rope. So if you see that danger going to happen, this is where you can reach down, grab the rope, and use my left hand while I'm still sort of fighting the fish like this, and I can get that front anchor quickly and efficiently out of harm's way. So to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of swaying back and forth in front of you. I'm gonna kick myself over into position. I've got the wind straight at my back, always at the back. I'm going to deploy the bow anchor and see if I can prove to you just how well this works. There we go. Fish on. And as he comes near, I'm just going to do a little safety. Get that front anchor up one-handed. And get my net ready. Nice little rainbow. Ate the bloodworm pattern, chronomid larva pattern on the bottom. And look at that, right underneath my feet. No anchor there. Oh. And she goes. So there you go. Total presentation control allowed by double anchoring. Just going to put it back down here to stop swaying. Allowed me to catch this beautiful, plump little rainbow. I'm going to let it go. Off she goes. I hope I've convinced you both why you'd want to put a second anchor on your pontoon boat and how you'd go about doing that. I hope you found today's tip informative and helpful for the next time you get out on the water. For more information on Outcast Boats and particularly this boat used in today's tip, be sure to visit us on the web at outcastboats.com and don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll see you on the water. Hopefully you'll be right beside me.